Hi, welcome back to Feminism on Trial. I uh, wanted to check in with you guys again. Another little observation I've had. I try to take what I learn in with the Red Pill community, taking in that content, digesting it, and listening to what real men in real life tell me. And uh, so I I have an interesting take on this. I live in a subsidized apartment building. You know, MS, disability, all the rest of it. You know, government is the husband, whatever you want to say. It is what it is. But I live in subsidized apartment. And um, I was taking my dog for a little walk and just thinking about this stuff in between studying about men's issues and feminism and um, and in take and getting in content um, then I I thought to myself you know what you don't see a lot around here or at all you don't see pretty girls you don't and I realized well duh there's a reason and there's one exception you might see pretty girls but the pretty girls, um, they already have kids or they, or, and, or they've been completely run through with a body count, like astronomical. So they've basically removed themselves from the sexual marketplace because they might have a pretty face, but they're ill. They're, you know, they're not wives. They're not marriage material. So you do not see pretty girls in, in a subsidized housing because why would you? And you don't see homeless women. How long are people going to talk about male privilege? That is such BS. There's men all around here. Except down the hill where it's more income based than there's women because they get the benefits and men don't. The women with the babies, like they get the benefits. So it's like, but there are no pretty women in subsidized housing and there are no homeless women because pretty women get taken by the man. They just do. That's just a privilege that we have. If we don't want to work, we don't have to. We don't have to. And I mean, I know people help me sometimes when I'm like, out and about because I have a cane or whatever, but honestly, I know other people that have disabilities and they don't get help and they don't, nobody runs to open the door for them. They just don't. So it's uncomfortable for me because I don't want to be like, oh my gosh, I'm pretty. I don't want to, I, I don't, that's not me, but I had to notice like, now why am I here? Because I've had men who are interested and one of whom specifically I could have had horses. I could have shown horses. I would have had a big house. I would have never had to worry about anything. But I didn't love him. And for me, that means no, because I don't use people. But while that was happening, I already knew a bunch of my red pill stuff. It was not that long ago. And I was like, wow, most women would jump at this and they wouldn't even care that like there's not a lot of compatibility, the conversation, and the, you know, they wouldn't care. They'd be like, I can go shopping and I can have horses and I can have all my stuff. But it's like, that's not, sometimes I even wish, wouldn't it be so much easier for me if I were like that? I would have been married probably four times over by now and be taken care of, but I don't. It doesn't appeal to me. I, I don't want to live a fake life. So I'm in love with a big town man. And even though I could have had, you know, men along the way who would have taken care of me and adored me and all the rest of it, I wouldn't do that to them because it's not right. And I wouldn't discard my man because he's not on my timetable or he did this or this or this like he's still him and I still love the guy so you know 
Anyway, there are no pretty girls in subsidized housing. Just making sure. Oh, the other thing I wanted to say is <laughs> there's not a lot of pretty feminists. Like Susan B. Anthony did not have guys lined up. Nobody was beaten down the door. Don't you think things would have been different if the leaders of the feminist movement in you know the suffragettes or whatever they were they were girls who don't who didn't get picked they totally were and they're bitter and you know what they want to take the privilege away from the rest of us it still goes on today they you know oh you're a pick me girl oh my gosh clutch your pearls and yeah what's your problem Girls are competitive, girls are jealous. And try to find me a good looking feminist. I am open to being wrong, but no existe. I mean, that's the, the real unicorn. Anyway, you guys, have a good night. Don't forget, forget to hit subscribe. I think YouTube takes away my subscribers, but that's all right. I keep saying I'm going to move to Rumble too, but I keep not doing it. Have a good rest of your night.